they may have, mm -hmm. you know? And anybody who meets me, mm -hmm. who spends any time with me, you know, things are great. They love it. It's okay. Well, yeah, okay, now we get you now, girl. Mm -hmm. You know, no. we understand <laughs> you now, <laughs> you know? And they welcome me <laughs> open arms. But if, you know, but in the beginning, uh, you know, um, if, especially people uh, with strong religious beliefs, mm -hmm. sometimes that gets in the way and they can't see the person. Mm -hmm. Right, like what they, is they your have, like, like? Sorry for cutting you off. Okay. What is your what, like? What's, what what is your religion? What's your back? Or like what is? I'm I'm um. I would uh, I'd have to say that I'm sort of pagan. Okay. The old religions, <laughs> right? The earth okay. religions. Okay. You know? Yeah. No, I mean we all have our rights to believe in what mm -hmm. we what, what oh, we absolutely. believe in, and, and I truly believe that. Um, now, in the pro, in the transition process. Once you decided, did, did you go to a doctor and, 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 and like to explain to us the process of you deciding to take hormones, see a doctor, and what, what was the experience like mm -hmm. on that? I mm -hmm. mean, just so we can educate maybe some people out there in a small town or just anywhere that might be feeling like they're different. Yeah. Um, it was, uh, I'm an older woman, and, mm -hmm. and it was... It was difficult back then because mm -hmm. um, even even the medical profession, and perhaps I could say particularly the medical profession, really was not very accepting. There was a tendency to pathologize, the tendency to say, well, there must be something wrong with you. If you're different, then that's an indication that there's something wrong with you, so we got to treat that, mm -hmm. right? That, 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 that made it difficult. It's different now, things are changing, it's mm -hmm. much easier, society in general, and the medical profession in particular, is much more supportive. Okay. Okay, in those days, you pretty well had to work it out by yourself, mm -hmm. right? So you were, you were looking for sisters, you were looking for role models, right? Mm -hmm. And that's, and hence Toronto, you know? People say, why is there so many queer people in Toronto, Carla? And I mm -hmm. say, well, because there's so many queer people in Toronto, right? Because <laughs> this is where we come. Because this is where we find community. This mm -hmm. is where we find our own people. Mm -hmm. And we thrive in the company of community. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, in the LGBT pronoun community, mm -hmm. I have to ask this question. Mm -hmm. Of course you do. What's your pronoun? No. I've learned so her. much. Okay. She and her. She and her. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Now, how do you feel about that whole um, identity thing when you like people are taking um, the pronouns she her they um, us we yeah um, personally I feel um, I can you know I can respect that I can respect people how people f feel about themselves but I feel we have to be we have to be a little bit careful with that mm -hmm. because if if we divide this into too many little pieces, mm -hmm. every time you do that, the box gets smaller, right? Okay. And the numbers get smaller. And united we stand, divided we fall, mm -hmm. right? And um, we, our strength is in numbers. Mm -hmm. So if we start cutting people out, we may find ourselves standing there alone. Mm -hmm. And you don't want that. Because, right, never forget what you are because society won't. Mm -hmm. And they'll use it against you. That's very, that's very wise advice. Now, um, coming, let's say, in general, what is your day like? Just, let's say, Carla is walking down the street. What is people's reaction to you? Can they tell, or do you pass? Um, like, mm -hmm. what is it, the whole pass thing? What is it oh, that yeah. you need to pass? That's, yeah, that, that's another thing. And I'm not really big on that. Um, I, I pass as a trans woman. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the identity I claim. Mm -hmm. I claim a trans woman. I'm not trying to be anything else. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to take anybody's place. I'm not trying to occupy anybody's space. Mm -hmm. So as a trans woman, yes, I pass mm -hmm. that, right? People, mm -hmm. I get looks, I get mm -hmm. looked at, right? And, you know, well, you know, is that a man or is that a woman? No, I'm a mm -hmm. trans woman, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Now, what, I mean, it, now that you said that, now, what, what kind of men are attracted that that you are attracted to that that you think are attracted to you? I mean, the tattoos mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. everything sort yeah. of yeah would either make you 
a, a dominatrix fetish. Mm. I mean, most men would look at you as though either you're a biker chick or you're into dominatrix. Mm -hmm. Like, um, and the flaming red hair and the lips. I mean, these are all very provocative and sexy. Yes. So, <laughs> how what, what kind of men are you attracted to? I have a very specific flavor. Mm -hmm. I like black men. Oh. Is that for a particular reason? Yes, it is. Because they're very smooth, mm -hmm. and they're very confident, mm -hmm. and they approach me. Oh. I have no time for a boy that's going to sit across the room and make faces and winking and blinking at me all night. Mm -hmm. I'm blind. I can't see that far. Oh. <laughs> you got to come and talk to me. Right? You got to come and talk to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, flirt with me. And now... Now, let's just talk a little bit. Now that you've opened that one, I'm going to go back because the, the hair and the tattoos, I mm -hmm. think people want to know a little bit of the history yeah. of the tattoos and the and the hair. Um, but I want to talk, now that you said that you're attracted to black men, now you know how hard, now me being black, I know how hard it is for black men to come out and say that they're either gay or they're bi. Yes. They always want to put on this face like they're men. Now, uh, not you, not necessarily that you have to tell us straight out. I mean, it'd be a good idea, but when it comes to the sex, are they are they tops or are they just or oh, they yeah. or their bottoms? No, or? no, I no, 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 I'm the bottom. Okay, I'm the bottom, baby. So you yeah. need a man. Yo, you got it. Okay, yes. so that's all I wanted to say because I'm you know some some you know some black men. If you ask them about the um, um, what do they call that pegging? If you ask yeah. them about the pegging, they'll say, they "Oh no, 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 no! I'm, 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 I'm strictly the top. I'm the man yeah. here, and I'm, no, I don't do any of that back door stuff. I'm gonna yeah. do it to you because I'm still the man." Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, so, um, but at the end of the day, um, how do they treat you? After very the well. Sex? Very like, well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yes. They treat me very well. Very you know, romantic. Very. It's very loving. It's very. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have, so, um, let's get back to the tattoos. When you, when you, like, what was your first tattoo? My first tattoo was this one. Mm -hmm. This was done in 1979 by 